What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Yeah, what's going on, man? You know who this is. It's Mr. Warmack from Back in the Building. And also, add me on Instagram. My Instagram is Mr. Warmack. Just M.R. Warmack. All caps. But uh, I'm doing a video, as you can see. You guys are pretty smart to figure that out, but uh, we want a video about how there's a lot of us nowadays, like a lot of us blacks in my, like from Generation X on down, we're, we're, we're kicking all these love, all these old heads, we, they gotta get out the way. It's, they're, we're, they're getting exposed and it's basically, it's a hostile takeover. The old heads get out the way. You either gonna, you, let me put it this way. You can either volunteer to get out the way or you can be voluntold to get out the way. There's only two. There's only two ways to go. You can go your way. You can go our way. And if you go our way, you get this. So let's go in. There's a lot of old civil rights. These old heads like, that are getting mad at this new wave of black leadership and black empowerment and black awareness. Like a lot of us, like I said, from Generation X on down, and even, even there's even some older heads that are like finally waking up. You know, and there are some that always were woke to this. We're tired of the old usual rhetoric. We're tired of the old, we'll blame Whitey for my situation. Well, I can't blame Whitey if you're robbing a fucking liquor store with the police on the corner every five seconds. I can't blame Whitey if you're selling dope out the trap house and the police are taking pictures of you and you see the cops and you're taunting the police. I can't blame Whitey if you don't have a job and you're selling drugs and you're sitting on the corner 24 hours a day and then you're wondering how you get arrested wearing new, brand new J's every day. A lot of us are tired of all these excuses. A lot of us are tired of you guys this mess and talking and like you ain't showing the way now. Like there's certain leaders who we respect and who I respect, but majority of you leaders I have nothing for. I'm like, I'm tired of hearing them, you know. A lot of them are just there to get their little deals and go. You know? It's like then there's a there's a big pushback. If you notice on social media there's a big pushback from all sorts even even the even the fuckery pro grab I mean, pro-black groups, I mean, even the ones that are fu on some fuckery, there's uh, some pushback on that for the old heads. Like, the new wave isn't, like, taking names. They're like, we don't care. Like, I'm not saying I'm a leader. I'm not saying this. I just put the information out. Once you research it, you call me a liar first, and you're like, hey, you were right. I know. But uh, from religion to politics, as far as, like, like the new black, the, 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 the new blacks, as I'd say, as far as that goes, we on some bullshit with you guys. We're like, we're not taking names with you guys. We're like, if you, we're not following the old DNC, blame the white man, suck up the government, you know, government money. Now, I was like, I don't want to say, you know, don't suck the government funding. Because here's what you just don't understand. If you're funded by the government, you can't expect to succeed, or you can't expect to move any higher than you will. That's called economic mobility. And if you're, if you rely on the government to give you economic mobility, you're relying on nothing. And you can see, you know how Obama made everybody happy? He gave everybody extra $300. What was that? That incentive or whatever. It was like $300 dispersed throughout the year. What impact did it have? Nothing. What was it? It was the psychology. Even Bush did it. So I'm like, it's, it's, it's not, it's politicians do it. But you gotta see through the, the black fuckery going on. Like what Obama did, he said, well, this will be add more to your paycheck. Divide like $400, $300 about 52 weeks. What, what, is that enough for you to buy a fucking house or a car? All this is enough for you to pay your bills and get ahead. But that's, that's, that's the psychology they want to use on you people. They want to say, well, we're adding more to your paycheck. Look, I can add more to your paycheck if I give you a dollar a day. But am I, make, am I improving anything in your life? Think about it. You know, there's people from the government generation, like the, like the old heads on down from the generation, like, like the, no, no, from the gen, old heads on up. That I, they're mad because we're questioning everything. And every time we question it, well, they always turn it. Your, your slaves have died from your freedom. And that's what we're exercising, our freedom. There are a lot of people who drop out of school, who don't go to school, etc., cetera, and, and don't take advantage of the freedoms that we were given. Well, today, we're, this is this is a new day. There's no more coonery, no more buffoonery. We're not blaming a white man for the action that you do. We're on each other accountable. You are accountable for what you do. Now, uh, granted, I'm not saying there isn't any racism. 
I'm not talking. Well, racism isn't a factor like you think it was. Like back in the, back in the 60s and 50s and 40s, that was racism. What you got going on is you fucking up. And then what it is is, what you fucking up, you giving somebody, you putting that wedge in already. You decide to make that, that decision. And once you decide to make that decision, you gave somebody an, an opportunity to enter. And so they're going to do to take advantage of that situation. Like, it may be racism on some aspects, on some things. But like I said, if you open the door for them to do that, they're going to take it. That's that's natural. That's nature. That's 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 how it works. And you, if, you, if you give them a reason, that's that's your fault to give them a reason. You know what I mean? I mean, not everything is, you know, everything. Some of it's because you just don't want to do anything. Let's, let's be honest. So... There's a new breed, and it's 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 how it is. It's either you roll over, you're gonna get rolled over. No, no. Either you roll with, you're gonna get rolled over. That's how it is. You know, there's no negotiating. That's how it is. So, I hope you guys get your swerve on because it's. You know, so what's the old saying we should say back? If you're gonna get down, you're gonna lay down. Peace.